Hey, it's Jeffrey. Yes, watch. He's about to react on impulse. Let's dissect his brain and see what's going on. I've got just the thing. Ah, no. We're going to talk about the relationship between Jeffrey's ancient brain and his modern brain. Jeffrey has two brains? He must be really smart. Like all of us. His brain has an ancient part, often called the reptilian brain, and another, more evolved cognitive or thinking part that we'll cover in a second. We can do this without the chainsaw. Let's quickly go back a few million years, shall we? I'll just grab my flux capacitor. <sighs> when our predecessors first ran around clubbing things and trying not to get eaten by other things, they relied on their instincts, automatic involuntary responses, including fear, to help them survive. Handy. Yeah. It's all about survival first, and that instinctive or reptilian brain has carried through to us modern humans. Cool. So what's the other part of the brain that you mentioned? It's the part of the brain most strongly evolved in humans, and it took us to the top of the evolutionary tree, the cognitive part. And cognitive is what exactly? Thinking, rationalising, remembering, problem solving, decision making, attention, and importantly, self-control. This is where we process information and choose how we want to behave. Ah, the exact opposite of reacting on instinct. Exactly. It works in conjunction with the reptilian brain, but it's where we assert self-control over our urges, so we respond in the best way. A good example is food. Our reptilian brain doesn't know when the next antelope will walk by, so its default setting is eat all you can when you can, especially energy-dense sugar and fat. But our environment has changed. Yeah, no need to go out hunting. These days food is everywhere. That's right. Plenty of energy-dense, sugary and fatty foods. But Jeffrey is starting to notice when his reptilian brain wants to take over. It usually happens when you're busy, distracted, overloaded with things to do, stressed or upset. Suddenly, an instinct burst makes you want to run for the nearest all-you-can-eat buffet. But by stopping and thinking it through rationally, you can override it and make a more informed decision. Like making smarter food choices. Gold star. <laughs> It's about mindful eating. By retraining your brain to look for other options, you can bypass the instinctual reptilian response and choose better. See, Jeffrey has the urge again, but this time his cognitive brain is kicking in. Now that's good thinking. <laughs>